Let me show you how to transform your green screen video into a cinematic shot with people. Let's start by creating a new project. Inside the project, you can begin by uploading your green screen video. You have two options. The first one is image or video. We let you upload up to 2K in one minute of video. And the second option is pre-keyed sequence. You can use your own PNG sequence with alpha channel if you want to skip the AI keying. But here, I'm going to start with the just unloading normal video. We're going to use this video, which I just downloaded from Adobe stock footage. The, after it's unloaded, our AI system is going to analyze the first frame of the video, generate the VFX passes for that frame. And this will allow you to preview the quality of the VFX passes that you're going to get before you actually propagate the results to rest of the frames. These are the generated VFX passes, and you can see that the alpha is very correct, and it also has the normal map, which is the geometry of your subject, base color map, roughness, specular, depth, metallic, and much more passes are actually there, so that we can actually correctly change the lighting or change the background view in the post. You also have the options to refine the alpha map if it's done wrong. So you can click on the subjects that you want to keep, and our AI system is going to give you the new alpha. But since the K is already perfect, I don't need to do it and I'll skip it. And you also have the ability to change the keyframe instead of the first frame if you can't find your subject in the first frame. I'm just going to hit generate full shot to pr propagate this result. And you will automatically be able to have this footage ready to edit it before you even have the full VFX passes for the entire frames. But in this tutorial, I'm not going to start editing with the keyframe. I'm going to import the entire footage that has been already processed a few minutes ago and start editing to show you the full workflow. Now, you can see that everything is completely dark, and that's completely OK, because in the scene, there's no light at all. You have to add a point light or HDRI to actually see your subject under some lighting. So here, I'm going to add a point light. And you can see that it's completely relighting her in a different setting compared to the source footage. So this was the source, and this is the after. You can change the intensity of individual point lights. You can add multiple lights as well, change the color of individual lighting, and even place the light behind her, because this is basically a 3D editor. You can place the light behind her to cast a backlight. But in this tutorial, I'm going to use the generative backdrop, which is a very powerful feature that you can create a cinematic shot without having to use individual point light. On the left panel, you will be able to see this prompt. And I'm going to type a woman sitting on a box. And I'm going to go for dark forest with fire on her side and maybe cinematic lighting and hit generate. So what this is going to do is our AI is going to analyze the foreground footage and create a matching backdrop and matching HDRI. By matching backdrop, I mean it's going to look correct in a perspective correct way. And also the lighting, uh, the HDRI is a three, 360 representation of lighting. So when it is used to relight the subject, it will actually make it look like the subject is in the completely different space. The tip here to write a, good, a really good prompt is to have all the details in the final composite. You need to include the subject detail, which is a woman sitting on a box, and also the lighting detail, which is dark and fire cinematic lighting, and also the scene detail, such as dark forest. And once you have these three details, our AI is going to do everything for you. And it has been already applied to the editor, you can see. So now the woman is in a dark forest with a fire on her bottom right side. You still have the ability to do all sorts of fine tuning. So for example, I'm going to make the HDRI a bit more darker and add a point light on the region where the fire is actually supposed to be and change the color of this point light to match the fire. 
And I can now have the ability to change the intensity of the spoiling light to have a really realistic look of that firelight casting on, her, on the actress face. Now I'm going to take things even farther. What I'm going to do is download the backdrop that was generated and take this into a video generating tool, which has VO2, one of the state-of-the-art video models that you can use right now. Go to Generate Media tab, VO, and upload the background image that I just downloaded. So this is the image, and type static camera cinematic light fire that is burning, and hit Run. So hopefully this video generating tool, the VO2, will generate a video backdrop by using that reference image that I just provided and expand that as a static camera video backdrop that I can upload on Beeble. It's going to take about usually 30 to 40 seconds, and you sometimes have to retry if the camera is moving with different type of prompts. But once you include static camera prompt, I find it always working pretty well. Okay, now it's generated. Let me play it. Oh, it looks really great. I'm going to download the video. Go back to the Beeble tab and remove the original backdrop by hitting delete and upload the newly generated video backdrop. So this is the video and I'm going to replace it. And amazing, you can see that without any tools like Blender or Unreal Engine, Beeble and VO2 to create a very realistic cinematic scene that has burning fire with realistic lighting and a realistic backdrop. Now everything is ready to go, I think, and I can just hit export and render this out as a MP4 file so that you can use it in your own video editing tools or just share this with anyone that you want to share it with. Thanks for watching. Thank you.